today we're going to look at how to solve quadratics by using the quadratic formula. Now, whenever you've got a quadratic, uh, there's different ways to solve it, as we've seen, how drawn it, looking at the graph by factorizing it and solving it that way, using trial and improvement. Now, another way of solving it is by using the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is this. Now, it looks really complicated, but don't worry, it's not too bad, okay? Uh, for the GCSE test, it's normally given to you anyway, and it's uh, at A level, then you would have to learn it, okay? So the quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Okay, um, there's, a, there's some cool videos on YouTube which help you remember this. Okay, there's a song, quadratic formula song. Um, if you're in a class, I've probably played it already. Um, but this is the quadratic formula. Now, obviously, you need to know what the a, the b, and the c stand for. So if you've got a quadratic, something like this ax squared plus bx plus c, and it equals zero. The a is the coefficient of the x squared term, the b is the coefficient of x, and c is the constant at the end, okay? So the a is the number in front of the x squared, the b is the number in front of the x, and the c is the number at the end, okay? And then you substitute these values for a, b, and c into this formula, and you'll get your solutions for x. Okay, so let's do a question using a quadratic formula. So we're going to solve x squared plus 8x plus 15 equals 0 using the quadratic formula. So here's the quadratic formula x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. So, uh, first of all, let's label our a, b, and c. So here, a is the coefficient of x squared, so it's 1. Okay, remember there's really a 1 here in front of the x squared. So a equals 1. b is the coefficient of x, which is 8. And c is the constant, which would be plus 15, or 15. Okay, so let's then substitute those into the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula is negative b, so minus 8, so x equals, minus 8 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that's 8 squared, minus, now I always put this 4ac part in brackets. It comes in useful whenever you've got negatives and so on for a, b, and c. You'll see why later. So I always put this in brackets. So 4 times a, which is 1, times c which is 15 and then we're going to divide that by 2a so 2 times 1 okay, so let's work out what that is so negative 8 plus or minus the square root of 8 squared is 64 minus 4 times 1 is 4 times 15 is 60 so minus 60 all divided by 2 when you work out this part here, uh, 64 take away 60 is 4. So you're going to get minus 8 plus or minus square root of 4 all divided by 2. Now let's work out this part. So you've got minus 8 plus or minus the square root of 4. Well, square root of 4 is 2. So then you get equals minus x equals minus 8 plus or minus 2 divided by 2. Now you notice you've got this plus or minus. That means you've got two solutions. Uh, remember, if you wanted to solve this quadratic here, you could have factorized it and you would have got two solutions. Actually, this one does factorize. I've done that on purpose. So what I do at this point is whenever you sort of simplify this down as fully as possible, like we have, separate it. Okay, so you've got x equals minus 8 plus 2 divided by 2 or x equals minus 8 minus 2 divided by 2. So minus 8 plus 2 is minus 6, divided by 2 would then be minus 3, so one solution is minus 3, or going to this one, minus 8 take away 2 would be minus 10, half of that is minus 5. So our solutions are x equals minus 3, or x equals minus 5. And that's it, so that's the quadratic formula, and that's how we can use it to solve a uh, quadratic. Let's have a look at a typical exam question now. Solve the equation x squared minus 10x minus 5 equals 0, given your answer to two decimal places, given your answers to two decimal places. Now there's a clue in the question here that we're going to be using the quadratic formula, and it's the fact that we have to give our answer to two decimal places. Normally whenever you factorise it, normally you're getting an answer that is, you know, an integer or to one decimal place. So, uh, first thing is, let's label our a, b and c. So a equals the number in front of the x, so the coefficient of x, oh, sorry, the number, the number in front of the x squared, or the coefficient of x squared, which would be 1. The b is going to be equal to negative 10, and our c is equal to minus 5. So, uh, 
what we're now going to do is then substitute these into the formula. So we're going to get x equals, now it says negative b, now b is already minus, 5, uh, minus 10, now so minus minus 10 would then be 10, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so it's going to be minus 10 squared, minus, now remember I always put the 4ac part in brackets, so bracket 4 times a, which is 1, times minus 5. We're going to all divide all of that by 2a, which is 2. So that's going to give you x equals 10, plus or minus the square root of minus 10 squared. Well, minus 10 times minus 10 would be 100, positive. Minus 4 times 1 is 4, times minus 5 would be minus 20. So that's why I'm putting it in brackets, because you've got 100 here, minus minus 20, which will then become 120 whenever we add it up. We're going to divide that by 2. So that equals 10 plus or minus the square root of uh, 100 minus minus 20 would be 120 divided by 2. At this point, we might as well just separate it into the two different um, possible solutions. So you'd have either x equals 10 plus root 120 divided by 2, or we're going to get or x equals 10 minus root 120 divided by 2. So we just need to work these out in the calculator and then we'll get our solutions. So we have got 10 plus the square root of 120 equals and then divide by 2 gives us an answer to two decimal places. So to two decimal places that would be 10.48 uh, to 2 dp. And if we do the other solution it's going to be 10 subtract the square root of 120 and then divide by 2 equals minus to two decimal places it would be 0 0.48. So we've got our two solutions to two decimal places.